Okay, I've got a five minute game going. Let's play the French just for for the sake of variety. Um okay no, I'm switching back to the Sicilian. It's too stubborn. That's a different move. That can't be that great, can it? Hmm. Well, what do I do against it? It's interesting. I guess I kinda wanna encourage him to do this. Just to block in his bishop. He's not falling for it. Um I think I can get away with this move. This guy's near my playing level. Okay. Development, development, development. Can't develop my didn't develop my bishop with the way this is here. With the bishop staring at it. I can get this out, but I really want a castle. Um I guess that's sort of the point with all of this, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe I can I'll just step back. Once I do that, I can play here and there and then castle. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so there's two attackers, two defenders. I'm okay. Although I don't like the idea of being over here without my dark squared bishop. Well, let's just have to deal with it, I guess. It's not too bad because he's gonna lose his two on the on the on the series of trades. Could be pointing here, I guess. I don't know. It's not the end of the world losing a pawn. I missed that. Yeah. Okay, so I'll kick it the knight, develop my bishop. So I gain I gain a little bit of time for the pawn. So it's not the end of the world. Um, now I guess he's going to want to trade because he's a pawn up. Yep. It's logical. But, it's like with the, with the, the thing about winning pawns is, um, you give your opponent more, s more space to maneuver. So like, I have, I have both of these open files here and, um, it gives my, my rook's room to breathe. So I mean, there's always there's always counterbalances, you know, ins and outs of different things that happen in chess. Um, yeah, he's up a pawn, which means in the end game he could uh, queen at some point. But um, you know, if he doesn't survive to the end game because I have more activity and my pieces are better coordinated, then you know, what what is it really worth? So, okay, my knight's pinned here, so that's no fun. I want to move my knight, so let's protect my bishop. I could move my bishop. Maybe here's a good idea. No. Let's let's just Hmm. Yeah, let's come back here. I want to play my knight in here, threatening this pawn and uh and the bishop. He lets me have that. Okay, so he's got the bishop covered. Now he has to do something about this pawn. Um, and yeah, there he goes. Okay. So what's next? Let's um. Let's hit another pawn. It's just sort of like time gaining moves. All right, I can hit this again. My queen's slowly inching up the board, and he's not making much progress, so that's good. Um, 
All right. So his knight could become a pain if he was able to stay in this square. So I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to not let him go there just immediately. Hmm. One thing I notice is that this pawn is pinned I guess it's queen, sort of, you know, with the x-ray, with the rook. So, hmm. I, don't, I don't see a way to take advantage of it just this minute, but something to keep in mind. Uh, maybe there's some tactics with these two pawns. Well, not not right now, but let's see, let's see what happens. I'll, I'll just um, wait around for a minute. I wouldn't mind playing this up here. Again, just... Softening up his pawns, sort of a minority attack, at least a little bit. My rooks are better placed than his, and if I can create some targets over here, that would be good for me. Okay, so now he's he's threatening to come in here with his queen. I mean, it gives me a check, and then it can, you know, the, the queen of the knight coordinating like this is kind of scary sometimes, so I gotta be careful here. Um, what do I want to do? I mean, he's giving me this pawn if I want it. That's not a good option, I think. I mean, let's, let's threaten his knight, so I can defend both this check and attack his knight with, with f4. It loosens this pawn, but that's something I can deal with later. And he keeps his queen out. Yeah, I like that. Okay. That's something I didn't consider. He's, he's got a fork here. Well, now what? Is there any crazy moves? He make a move here. No, he just takes it. Well, if he takes it, he wins the pawn and not the exchange. That's, that's Watch your time. That's something. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And then I move this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, if we trade queens, he gets the knight. No, he doesn't. It's, it's defended. Okay. Now, if he takes with a rook... What do I do there? Hmm. I guess I gotta move my queen. Yeah, I'll, d I'll attack his knight and defend my knight. If he moves his qu the rook off this file, I've got my knight. He's like a great square here. So yeah, I am losing his change. Or I just did. But the knights are, knights are tricky, you know? Let's come back here. Not a lot of not a lot of time left. And that was a blunder. Okay, so materials back even. Let's just make some moves. Let's try to wind down his time. He's doing the same thing. Wanna trade queens? I guess you do. I mean you're you're two pawn three pawns up. Okay. Oh, thanks. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Gotta keep fighting. Gotta keep fighting. to do.
and he doesn't have any time. As long as I can have at least one pawn on my rook. Ah, he's out of time. That was a close game. I mean, I shouldn't have won that, obviously, but, um, you know, maybe I'm just a little faster than the mouse than he is. <laughs> okay, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.